Hey guys, me again. Um, last time I'm posting for today, but I found this really, really awesome um, science after dark kit while I was cleaning up. Um, and I decided that it would be super awesome to do a science experiment with you guys. So I'm actually going to do two. Um, so for this science experiment specifically, you need some type of like crystal beads or orbies, um, something that holds some type of water. Um, some type of container you can use, um, a soda bottle, a vial, a water bottle, anything that you want to use. Um, and you actually need zinc sulfide. It's not easy to, well, I'm sure you can order it off Amazon. It's easy to find, but it's not a common household product. Um, an eighth of a teaspoon, a regular spoon, and I am using a cake pan for mixing. Um, so the first part of this science experiment was just how to turn um, crystals invisible. Um, it's a simple light trick. If you want to see um, some more scientific stuff on it, look it up and send it to me because that would be some super awesome extra credit. All right, you guys ready? Well, you're not supposed to be able to see them. You can still see them a tiny bit. Maybe the crystals aren't completely finished um, forming as of yet. Um, so the next part we're going to do is just mixing so we can actually do the night light. I'm gonna try to drain as much water out of this as possible. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna clean up some water mess, guys. Okay, I'm gonna angle you guys down so you can see everything I'm doing from here on out. All right, so I'm going to take my crystals and I'm going to fill as many as I can up in my container so I can see how many my container is going to take to fill. And then I'm only going to use enough while I mix just to fill my container and that's it. All right, so the rest of these are actually going to go back into my cup. All right, so this is how many I need to fill my container. So now that I know how many I need to fill my container, I'm going to dump them back out on my cake pan. The next thing you're going to need to do is open your zinc sulfide. This is not that easy to open, so I'm just going to have to cut it open. All right, and then take your one eighth of a teaspoon. All right, so when you have your one eighth of a teaspoon, I'm just going to sprinkle it over everything. And then I'm gonna kind of mix it a little bit so it covers as much of the surface of the crystals as possible. All right, now that most of my crystals are covered, I am just going to put them back into the container that they were in. So zinc sulfide, so you guys know, is actually glow in the dark. And um, all you have to do is put it up to a bright light. And then when you put it in the dark, it glows. So this um, pan is going to glow. The light's going to glow, the spoon's going to glow because it touched the zinc sulfide. Um, and then the actual container of zinc is also going to glow. Um, one thing I will say is the zinc sulfide is not, it is toxic. Um, so 
don't have it around your pets or, you know, small children who are going to try to put these crystals in their mouth after they are um, covered or anything like that. Um, any small children, just make sure they're supervised by an adult. All right. So I'm just going to use my cell phone really fast to give it some bright, bright light. And I'm also going to give the bag some bright light too, so you guys can kind of see that. Okie dokie. Let's see, it might still be a little bit too bright, but we'll see if it works. All right, you guys. Well, I have the webcam light is on, but it is definitely glowing. You can't see it too, too much, but it's glowing really bright on my end. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, try to make your own nightlight. I think these are really cool projects. Um, and I will be posting more as I go through this experiment book. I think this is a really, really cool book. Um, and then I'll, I'll post the um, experiment directions and stuff like that for you guys on Dojo if you want to give it a shot yourself. All right. Have a fantastic night, guys. Bye.